planes during qualifying round, this young man, Tim Weisbrod, shot a 798 series. One of the games he rolled that day was a perfect 300 game. On behalf of the Greater Cincinnati Bowling Proprietors Association, we'd like to present ring, uh, Tim with his beautiful 300 ring. Tim, congratulations. Super. How did it feel on that 12th shot? Oh, it's been, I've been waiting a long time for one of these rings, and uh, it was just a super feeling. I couldn't describe it. It was just a super feeling. Well, that's, I've been there once or twice myself, and I know it's great. Hey, Tim, good luck to you in an upcoming match. Good luck. And there's a look at some of the crowd here at Delfair Lanes. In that crowd, Sam Coleman, Bo Hudipole from the BPA, Tom Murphy from Stones Lanes, Tom Gray, Losanaville, Bill Seidel, who's keeping our score today from Durban, and Don Hyde from Hyde's Lanes. Here's Weisbrod, our king. Tim Weisbrod, probably a, one of the most unorthodox players. Watch the stiff-legged left leg here at the foul line. He actually locks it as he comes through, very erect, high back kick with his right foot, but so effective. Tim Weisbrod, one of the more underrated players in the city, will be tough today. And he starts the right way. Sure is nice of him to cooperate with my prediction. I, uh, I honestly think we're gonna see some higher scores this game time. These two players experienced in match play competition. Between them, they have probably 35 to 40 titles. This man, Don Scudder, put away Eddie Hamlin last game, knows that this game is not going to be any picnic. We're going to have some scoring in this I, game. I do believe we can just sit back and watch this one. Don, Don Scudder playing the edge again, on the edge of disaster, but on the brink of success. He is going to throw this ball with perfection. Arm swing, look at it, going right towards the target. Good roll on the ball, perfectly in the 1-3, every pin in the pits. Dave qualifying today, being conducted at Brentwood Bowl. That's where we will be next week. Final shift, 4 o'clock today, so if you want to try to qualify for next week's King of Bowling show, get on over to Brentwood Bowl this afternoon. You want to come on out? Going to go out and bowl a shift. My average <laughs> is not what Don Scudders is, certainly, and, I, and that's what you have to do to get on this show. Ex excellent shot. Watch the reaction of Don Scudder here. Unlike the last match where there was no reaction, watch him now. He knows it's good. He's going to run this one out. Look at the intensity in his face. Yeah! He knows it's a big double to start with against this man, Tim Weisbrod. The intensity in his eyes is obvious. Oh. Starts with a double. A hacksaw strike. This man is intense. We Just talked about qualifying. We talked about qualifying. Terry George with a 671, Len Gray with a 658, and Daryl Lip 652 are, are the top qualifiers so far. What an extension. Look at a five pin. Center of your screen. Just ripped out of there into the seven pin. Nothing had a chance. Excellently thrown ball. Tim Weisbrod throwing the new, one of the new urethane construction balls. Left lane. Double up both players. Advantage could go to Weisbrod with this strike. And he's got it. Starts with a triple. Yeah, look at it. Oh, he's he's ready. He's ready. I love it. He was like that in warm-ups today. Yes, he was. Look at the eyes, the intensity. The head pin. Center your screen will go to the sideboard. Come off. Kick out. Not only the seven pin, but the four pin. Yeah, he likes it. Nothing but solid strikes in this game so far from both bowlers. And it might not stop. It doesn't. Look at it. Both players are dancing now, Todd. This, this is what the game is all about. Intensity, execution, perfection. Both players perfect through three as we're going to watch Scudder. Scudder from the gutter. <laughs> Excellently played shot. Super. Three strikes. Don Scudder will not quit. He will not loosen up. And each time one of these guys rolls a strike, they put that much pressure on the other guy. That's what it's like. It's like trying to hit a passing shot in tennis. Each guy is just going for it every shot. Let's see what happens here. Leaves the tent. A little wide. The ball stayed out along the edge about maybe a foot or two too long. Creating
creating a different angle entering the pocket. The six pin did not do its job that time. At this point, the match is tied up, but Tim Weisbrot has the advantage of striking in the next frame to go up. We saw some intensity last frame. Tim Weisbrot putting the pressure on Don, Don leaving a pin. Tim knows that this next shot here will give him the lead. Weisbrot, 22 years old, he has a 210 bowling average. And he starts yeah. with four strikes. Little hand slap there, walking away. Let's watch his reaction. Let's watch the ball. Great backswing. Super execution through the shot. Watch the ball enter the one three pins here. Gives it a little bit of yeah. He knows he put it right back on Scudder. One more shot would make the pressure that much more. Left lane. The Tim Weisbrot has been perfect. Mm. Not perfect anymore. A little heavy on the head there. Quite a bit heavy, <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> It looks like he'd like... I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> not one of my traits. <laughs> Tim Weisbrot eased up. Not quite the authority he's had on the other four frames where he was solid. Going a little slower will cause the ball to hook a little bit more. He'll take two pins here and hope that Scudder falters somewhere throughout the game. So we're midway through this championship game. What the heck, it's afternoon. Let's call this a beer frame. Go grab a hoodie out of the refrigerator, and we'll be back on the BPA King of Bowling for the final of this championship game. Here, Don Scudder is going to be on the right lane. 115 for Tim Weisbrod in the fifth. Don Scudder has a potential here to go at least four pins up, and with a double, possibly 15. 20 pins, who knows? Let's see what happens. It's there. Got it. <laughs> excellent reaction on the six pin again. The good roll, the excellent execution has given Don Scudder a four pin advantage, potentially 14. There he is again. Good follow through, excellent roll. The ball turning over nicely for Don. A little deflection there at the pocket causing the six pin to go to the board rather than to take out the 10 flush. No problem. Don Scudder has the situation in hand as long as he keeps his nose clean. Has a four pin advantage at this point. The potential to go to 14 pins with this strike. He's high. But he's lucky that 10 pin dropped or he would have had a split. Not I think he feels good about that. Well, that's mixed. That's what you call mixed emotions. He's glad he broke down the split, but disappointed he threw the ball poorly. He allowed the ball to go high on the head pin, as you said, almost leaving a very difficult split. This is a fairly easy spare for the better bowlers. He should wind up with a spare and a four pin advantage. But Tim Weisbrod has the, the opportunity to throw a strike next frame and get those pins back. Well, Scudder has marked in every frame so far through six. Four strikes, two spares. This man is down six pins at this time. Has the chance to get him back if he strikes here. Looks good. The ball going just a little longer than anticipated, leaving the weak 10 pin almost a seven pin. Now let's watch this here on the replay, Todd. Tim Weisbrot is going to throw what appears to be a good shot, but the seven pin, the one to the extreme left of your lane, you'll watch will be the, the last pin to go down. Just catching it out there with the five pin. That means the ball deflected into the pocket. He lost a little bit of roll. And just kicks out the 10 pin. Tim Weisbrot, unlike a lot of the better players, does not flatten the ball out to shoot his 10 pin. As we see it here, we're going to have 115 to 119, a four-pin advantage going to Don Scudder. Both players with a spare up in the sixth frame. This game is going to go right down to the wire. You can bet on it.
just the way we wanted to start off here on our first King of Bowling show. Well, we ended the season last year, Todd, with a barn burner, a one-pin win by Rick Hensley to become our King for the year. Excellent shot by Tim Weisbrod, not getting the desired result. Ringing 10. Might add, Dave, that qualifying next Saturday and Sunday at Super Bowl. Down around my neck of the woods. Starts at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Check out Tim Weisbrod's footwork again. Heel toe, heel toe, good execution. Six pin going right around the 10 pin. Covering the spare. Trailing by four pins, potentially five if he strikes. Potentially 15. Don Scudder knows that he's up. He can finish it if he strikes all the way out. Tim Weisbrod couldn't do a thing about it, but he's got to get there. Ten in the pit. That was only perfect. Only, let's watch an only perfect shot, Todd. Just, a, just another ho-hum perfect strike by Don Scudder. And he's had a bunch of them today. He's had a bunch of them. He's used to it. Well-schooled, practices a lot, used to match play competition. A five-pin advantage at this point with a strike up becomes 15, potentially 25 pins if he comes up with this one. It's a big shot for Don. Answers the call once more. How do, how do you like this intensity, Todd? Both of these bowlers very intense. Don Scudder knows he threw it well. He'll give it a little body English help here. Say, get in there. Yeah! <laughs> that right hand whipped right around his neck. Here you see him trying to get his thoughts together for next frame as Tim Weisbrod throws on the right lane and he threw a horrible shot. Just Hit the, the other side. Oh, that was he very... Knew it from the time left. <laughs> like very rarely will you see a good bowler throw a shot that bad unless he loses his footing, sticks somewhere, or just has a blatant mental error. That was a going away Brooklyn, leaving the five and the nine this is typically a fairly easy spare, but you can chop the five off the nine if you hook it. Look out, look out. Ooh, just slid the nine over. It's it. Actually, took the five straight back, Todd, and just, just the dust, the dust on the ball knocked the nine pin down. Let's watch it here. Now, he should have flattened it out. Now, right here, he knows he's in trouble. The ball starts to hook off. Now, watch it here cleanly going to take off the five pin. Oh, you're right. It was a five pin that just kissed it. Mm. Tim has no options available to him right now other than to strike in the ninth, the tenth, eleventh. Put any kind of pressure on Don Scudder at all. game is, is just deteriorated for two shots in a row. Tim knows that he has to throw strikes. He threw another bad shot the exact opposite way. He topped the ball, not allowing it to hook up. A must spare. Without this spare, the match is over. Will the 10 go? No. There's your score in the ninth. Let's take a look at it here. We've got 177. Don Scudder does not even have to mark to win this match in either frame. But being the competitor he is, he just want to solidify things here. I'm sure this next ball is going to be flush. It, it is. This is his day. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Dandy Dave, is that what we're going to call you? <laughs> There it is, the, Dave Roo, the coup de gras, the finishing stroke. Ten in a pit. Don Scudder will be our first champion of 1984, bringing his king title into Brentwood Lanes next week. That man, Tim Weisbrod, dejected. Time to mention right now the Women's City Tournament will be at Kingpin Lanes on March 10th and 11th, 17th and 18th. Entries close this Tuesday, though, January 31st, so call Bowling Headquarters for details. 
531-8790. And a 10 pin for Don Scudder. Tim Weisbrod can finish out with a 207, a very respectable game, but in match play competition against this tough, tough competitor, Don Scudder, 2-0 is not going to win you too many matches. Scudder 216 in his first game today. He will have with a spare here 230 something. <laughs> Strikeout will give him 238. A very respectable game. Don Scudder's a real dancer, isn't he, after he uh, drops those pins? Well, uh, he, he and I have bowled together and against each other for a lot of years, and if there's one guy that can outdance me, <laughs> it's Don Scudder. <laughs> He's got a vicious right hook. And I don't mean his bowling ball. <laughs> nice round of applause for Don Scudder finishing out with a super game. 236. Tim Weisbrod will just finish out the game here. Hopefully shooting 2-0. Hold it again. Spare and a strike will give him 197. Again, not a bad game, but on BPA, King of TV Bowling, 190 is not going to win too often. We have a, a prime selection of players in the greater Cincinnati area. One that will contend with players anywhere in the city, Todd, or anywhere in the country. I've been around, and, and we've got some tough ones here. Tim Weisbrod, you can bet, will be back. just overshooting the pocket. And Tim finishes with 197. So that's our championship game. And our new king is Don Scudder, winning with a 236 to 197 score. We'll be back with the check presentations after this. Time now to hand out some cash. Dave Newrath, you've got three checks there in your hand. One of the most pleasurable things I do, Ty. Fourth position, Lee Estel, going down to feet today, $150. Congratulations, Lee. Ed, you provided us with one of the most exciting finishes we've had for quite a while here on King of Bowling, $225 for the third place position. And Tim, tough break there that last game. I know you were pretty intense and you obviously wanted it. $375 for finishing second, and you'll be back, I'm sure. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Don? Yeah, and I've got the big check to hand out here to our new king, Don Scudder, $750. Congratulations, Don. Appreciate it. I just want to say this game uh, with Tim, it was just a matter of my carrying the brakes, and, and uh, at an opportune time in the third frame, I caught a wall shaker, and... Uh, you know, and I punched a nose on the one shot, and he caught a split when he punched a nose. Uh, I feel he bowled just as good a game as I did. You know, it's it just a matter of being at the opportune time, you know. Uh, 236 I... in the final game for Don Scudder. And we'll see you next week at Brentwood Lanes, and we hope to see you next week at Brentwood Lanes here on the BPA King of Bowling. Yeah.